Hey guys, Rick from Rick RC. Welcome back to another video. Another brief update on what I've been doing and to bring you up to date with where I am and what I've been up to. So, I built another wing. Another wing. Yep, another wing. I've just got things on the go. I don't even finish the last thing I was working on. I just get inspired by something and I've built another wing. So, I'm still using the Australian foam board. Here we have it. I think I've told you before, this Australian foam board is pretty much not as lightweight as the Adams foam board that you guys may use overseas. So it's not the Dollar Tree foam board. Um, this is a lot heavier. So what I decided to do was try something. So an A1 sheet of foam like this weighs about 225 grams. And I thought, well, I've had enough of this. You know, if I put two of these foam sheets together and build a wing, my wing's going to weigh 400 grams without a blink of an eye. So I decided to peel off the paper. And depending on the foam sheet you've got, that can be easy. It can also be a bit hard or harder. Um, and trust me, it's a bit of an arduous task. But the best way to get it off, in my opinion, is to soak the foam board in water. Just get a hose, sprinkle some water over the top, let it sit. It uh, soaks through the paper immediately. And then what I do is get a kitchen scourer, a sponge scourer, just the, the light version, not the heavy stuff. And I gently rub on top while the paper's wet and the paper comes off pretty easily. Then I give the whole foam sheet uh, a, a rinse down. It's um, a bit wet until it uh, dries up, of course, and it weighs more while it's wet. But when it's dry, I found that one A, when it's dry, I found that a sheet of A1 foam board without the paper on it weighs less than half. So 225 grams down to less than nine, uh, sorry, down to less than 100 grams. It hovers around a 95 to 97 gram mark. That's without the paper. So if I join two of those sheets together, I can make pretty much a 1500 millimeter wing or a 1200 millimeter wing, which is what I actually did, with a 10 inch cord and it only weighs 200 grams. I'm about to show you what I did. So this is the foam sheet with the paper on it. This is an off cut of the foam sheet without the paper on it. I'm going to keep looking around, but uh, it's pretty windy here, and I think the door's going to fly open at any moment. Anyway, so when you take the paper off, look, I will admit the strength is compromised. So, what did I do to compensate for that? I'll show you. This is the wing I just built. I call this a flight test wing. For those of you that follow flight tests on YouTube, they always build their wings using this technique. So the, the, the airfoil is not smooth. It's based on one or two score cuts that involve bending the foam where the score is and then hot gluing to keep the bend in place so there's no pressure fold involved. Well, that's exactly what I did using the two pieces of foam sheet which I peeled the paper off and believe it or not I still decided to follow the experimental airlines technique of using packing tape to cover the foam sheet with so I've got an instant color there's no paint job required as you can see I used yellow for the main wing and I used blue for the ailerons and it's worked out really well. I've got an excellent wing here. This is a 1200 millimeter wing and it's a 10 inch cord, two wing halves together, just like they show you on flight test. I sticky tape the two foam sheets together. I bent them in half at the join where the sticky tape was. I hot glued it in the middle. Then I did the uh, score cut cutouts, as you can see there. And I made my folds and I hot glued the score cuts with the fold position in place. And there is my 
foam board spa. So for the first time I have not used a carbon spa for strength or to hold the two wing halves together. No carbon spa involved here, just foam. And this foam spa is the only section or the only piece of the whole build that where I've left the paper on for strength. Apart from that, no paper involved anywhere in this build. So I've basically got a 1200 millimeter wingspan wing with a 10 inch cord and it only weighs 200 grams. I still have to put in a couple of uh, aileron servos, right? So I may weigh 210, 215 when I'm all up, when I'm ready to go and it's finished. I also use the uh, cloth tape on the edges just to protect them. But this wing is ready to go. I am so impressed with its light weightness and its rigidity. It is strong. Uh, there is no chance this is going to fold under pressure and it feels like it wants to fly. I think it's going to make a really good glider or a really good uh, flyer and I decided to use a high lift wing design as you can see. But basically this is what I'm calling a flight test wing. I've used the entire flight test build technique. To build this wing with and I still decided to incorporate the experimental airlines technique of covering the foam with packing tape. Now I'm not going to show you the fuselage yet because I'm still completing that but I will show you the end result when it's all finished and I'm really looking forward to flying this. So that's what I've been up to and because of the way this wing has turned out I am going to build quite a few more of these without a doubt. I really love it. No need to use a carbon spa um, and peeling off the paper is the secret. So I don't really want to buy Depron in bulk at the moment. I just want to buy one or two sheets of foam as I need them and I can still achieve the light weightness needed by peeling off the paper completely. And it works. It works. It works extremely well. This is the proof. I wanted to see what I could do. I wanted to prove something and I've done it. I'm really, really impressed with this. So that's it. That's where I am for now. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this, please subscribe. I've got a few more things coming. Um, I've still got to show you the end result of that other Raven plane that I was building which is an Axon derivative from Experimental Airlines so that's coming along too I'm just waiting on some parts for that so as usual thanks for watching fly well fly safe and of course in these current times at the moment please be safe so I'll talk again soon and we'll catch up again next time bye for now